hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to do uh, cambridge checkpoint primary mathematics paper 2 from october 2019 series 084502 is the code and you should complete this paper in 45 minutes and here are the instructions you can screenshot it and then you can read it later on so this is paper 2 so you have calculator allowed in this case we can use a calculator so i would like you request to you guys if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so let's start question one mike records the favorite animal of some students on a bar chart right so here is the uh, favorite animal given uh, the question is how many more students choose lion than tiger so we have to compare lion and tiger so tiger you can see there are 12 number of students and lion is 20 so we are looking for the difference so that means 20 minus 12 which is 8 so answer is 8 right now part b 9 students choose cheetah draw uh, a bar on the chart to show this nine students we are looking cheetah is here so we are taking in the middle nine will be here in the middle right so we have to draw a line here so in the middle um, like this okay so this is for cheetah for nine students number two uh, put angle a b c and d in ordering starting with in order starting with the largest here so we have these angles here so as you can see this is almost 90 this is less than 90 right this is less than 90 this is greater than 90 and this is more like this these two if you compare this is also greater than 90 but this is the bigger one so it's much more than this one so we will have c here first okay then there will be d then b and then a writing in the order starting with the largest part three what fraction of the regular hexagon is shaded so you can see they have not shaded the full shape this one full triangle is shaded then half is this one half is this one so total if you see this if we place here so we have total number of triangles shaded is two and we are looking for the fraction so two are shaded out of one one two three four five and six so two over six simplifying two times one two times three so final answer will be one over three right question number four here are four fraction cards you have fraction cards write one fraction in each box to make these statements correct so use each card once so you have to be careful because we are using just once so this sign is less than greater than here we need uh, greater fraction here we need sorry here we need greater and here also greater than this because this is less than so 3 over 8 is equal so 3 over 8 can go easily here so we are done with 1 mm, so 2 over 8 is less than 4 over 8 and 7 over 8 one of these can go here but if you see we have 6 over 8 it should have it should be greater than yeah we can put 1 over 8 here uh, 2 over 8 is less than 4 over 8 can go here and here we can have 7 over 8 7 over 8 is greater than 5 over 8 right number 5 here is a pattern made with black and white tiles so uh, we have some black tiles and some white tiles so uh, it continues in the same way in a pattern made up of 32 tiles how many are black so total number of tiles is 32 now here we will see 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so total tiles ratio black tiles so if we have 
ट्वेल्व टाइल्स टोटल वी हैव थ्री ऑफ दैम ब्लैक सो ना इफ वी विल हैव थर्टी टू टोटल टाइल्स हाउ मैनी विल बी द ब्लैक वन सो जस्ट क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई है यू विल हैव एक्स टाइम्स ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू थर्टी टू टाइम्स थ्री सो डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व सो दैन वी कैन जस्ट कैलकुलेट इट यू कैन यूज कैलकुलेटर डायरेक्टली हियर सो इट इज थर्टी टू टाइम्स थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व सो इट इज एट सो योर फाइनल आंसर विल बी एट राइट नंबर सिक्स सिक्सटी एट चिल्ड्रन गो टू अ पार्टी ईच चाइल्ड इज गिवन अ बलून द बलून इन इज इन पैकेट ऑफ थ्री हाउ मैनी होल पैकेट्स आर नीडेड सो देर आर सिक्सटी एट चिल्ड्रन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सो वेन यू डिवाइड सिक्सटी एट बाई थ्री वी गेट ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट सिक्स सो दैट मीन्स या सो दैट मीन्स वी नीड ट्वेंटी टू होल पैकेट्स प्लस वन मोर बिकॉज देर विल बी सम रिमेनिंग स्टूडेंट्स सो फाइनल आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन दिस केस राइट सो लेट्स मूव टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन हियर इज द लिस्ट ऑफ numbers uh you can see some numbers here yuri rounds each of these numbers to nearest 100 draw a ring around the number that does not round to 4600 so that means most of the numbers will be rounded to 4600 so nearest hundreds one stands hundreds so we are looking for this place right this one so let's do one by one so when you round this off it will be 4600 because this is less than 5 this will be 4500 right because this is less than so it will drop we will not add anything this will be 4600 4600 because this 9 is greater than 5 so this is 4600 because this 10 is less than 5 so we have only one number which is 45 Four uh, eight, which is not rounded to four thousand and six hundred. Now, Perry estimates the area of his name labels using counters. Emma says that it is not accurate. Uh, he has not covered all the space inside the shape, because you can see there are uh, shapes uh, gaps there. What could he use to estimate the area more accurately? So instead of circle, if he could have used like squares like this, so he can cover more area, right? So less gaps. So our answer may be squares. I mean, our answer is square. He should use squares. Okay. Now. Number nine. Here are four digit cards. You can see these cards here. Use each of these digits, digits ones, to complete the sum. The total must be multiple of five. So multiple of five should end. It should end with zero or five, right? So we are looking for number that ends with zero and five. So that means. Uh, four plus two is six. Four plus five is nine. Uh, if we take two and eight, so if we take like two and eight, here, two-digit number, so then it will be eight plus two, ten, right? So other two you can put it anywhere. So four plus five, ten, nine, it's hundred. So it is forty-two plus fifty-eight, right? I hope you got this one. So let's move to the next question. Number ten. Write a digit in each box to make the calculation correct. So we have some gaps here. So you, we need, uh, we are looking for something seven times something that gives a number that ends with the three, right? So if you remember the table, seven times. Eight fifty-six. Seven times nine will give you sixty-three. So that means nine should go here. Seven times nine is sixty-three because there is no other number in seven's table that gives three there, right? So then six goes up here, right? So we are having here uh, one. 
so seven nine now we are looking for nines table so nine i can write down here nine times two eighteen nine times three thirty seven thirty six forty five so what number after this i'm sorry 54 so what number when you add 6 in this gives you 1 9 plus 6 15 18 plus 6 24 uh, 17 plus uh, 27 plus 6 is it gives you 3 so 45 plus 6 sorry it gives you 51 so that means we can write down uh, 6 there I think let me reach up this one uh, so so yes, so this is 9 times 5. So 9 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. 45 plus 6 it is uh, 51. So now 1 is here, 5 will go up here into carry forward. So 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 5 is 41. So that's how you can complete this calculation. Right? Now moving to next question. Number 11. Here is a circle with six equally spaced dots. So we have this, this is the keyword here, equally spaced dots, right? So they are in the, uh, on the same distance. Join three of these dots to make an equilateral triangle. So now equilateral triangle is a triangle having all the three sides equal. So we can join either these three or these three to make there an equilateral triangle. So I'm joining this one. So you see this is an equilateral triangle with all the three sides equal. Right? Part 2. Here is a circle with 8 equally spaced. Again we have equally spaced dots. Uh, join 3 of the dots to make an isosceles triangle. So now isosceles triangle is a triangle with the two sides equal two sides equal so uh, there are many options like this one like here so let me use this one here just join these dots so this and this they are at equal distance so that's it okay now let's move to next question number 12 number 12 Chan throws three dice and adds his score together he does this 15 times okay he organizes the score into frequency table uh, here he organizes in this table here uh, so complete both tally and frequency columns we need to complete this one so we can start from the beginning here 8 8 is between this here 12 goes here 16 uh, in this column 15 also comes here 6 will go here 12 is here 17 13 Again 13 will come here, 15 is there here, 10, 10 is this one, 12 will come here, cross it like this, 9 is going to be this one, 11 is here and 18 will go here. So now we will count, frequency is 1, this is 3, this is 5 and Sorry, this is 6. Let me write it down again. Because you see we have 5, this group and plus 1, 6. And this is 5. So that's it for this question. I hope you understood this also. Number 13. So number 13, draw a reflection uh, of this shape in the mirror line, right? So we can use tracing paper for that. So let me draw this shape here. So let let me use this. Uh, let me drop my previous drawing here. So this is the mirror line, right? So if we draw this shape, if we trace this shape here, mirror line, we are folding to the mirror line. So shape should come here. 
so see you have the idea now so these are the points so here it's one two three so it will go one two three this is the point and here also one two and three so you can just draw lines here using ruler right done now number 14 here is a part of a number line uh, write missing number in the each in each box so let's see uh, so are the whole numbers or not um, if we have here one two three four you see we have five gaps here so that mean to say that this one is uh, if we take five six so it's a big gap here uh, four that means here it is five five will be in middle let me check one two three four five six seven so in the middle let me just use ruler eight so in the middle somewhere here it will be here so you see if we are here then one two three four one two three four so that means here we have five so this will be in the middle somewhere so this is five and half right so now here also uh, this you see we have this five after four gaps so one two three four so that means here we have three right three and then quarter of this so three and a quarter that will go here in this column right question number 15 here are six number cards uh, use each card once to complete the number statement so we are given some results and we can use those ones uh, but we have to use each card only once right uh, so I will start with this equal sign so you know that uh, two uh, what times what gives you 20 uh, so here we have uh, uh, sorry it's not times it's plus so 11 plus 9 right so 9 plus 11 or 11 plus 9 is 20 so we have used these two cards so now remaining something greater than 20 and something less than 20 so we can use the smaller numbers like let's say 2 plus 3 5 is less than 20 so if we use these two 17 plus 522 yeah so we are done so this is more than this one so 5 plus 17 and this will be 2 plus 3 so 22 is greater than 20 is equal 5 is less than 20 right now number 16 around this decimal these decimals to the nearest tenth so tenth is uh, here right this is 10th place so this one this is greater than 5 it will be rounded above so 4.1 this is less than so it will remain the same so this is 7.8 here this is f above so plus 1 2.4 right so that's it for this video uh, remaining question we will do in the next one please subscribe and like press the like button if you liked it and share it with your friends thank you so much guys god bless you and all the best for your coming exam see you in the next video